Curious, you're in Canada. Where in Canada? I was born in Ottawa. I feel like I'm connected to every place somehow. In my own imagination, I've lived in Berlin. I've danced Brazilian dance, <laughs> styles of dance. I, yeah, we got, yeah, what, somebody in Berlin also. Yeah, I studied in the Goethe Institute in 1987 for six months. So I feel connected to Germany. All right, now that we have arrived and I'm going to take off my glasses and I have started recording. So everybody in TV land, welcome to the Embodiment Dojo. Ah, let's just take a couple of deep breaths and inhale. Arms can go up or not. And then exhale, ha, ah, let out some sound. Let out like a whoo, ha, whoo. We can do the double inhale. Mm, ha, ah, letting out some sound if that feels okay. And if you're in a space where you can make noise. Inhaling up, reaching up getting very long, maybe wiggling a little and oh, let it go. So I've been doing these um, Instagram live, not lives, little Instagram bursts every day. I go for a walk in the morning and I know like the Mark Walsh world is very familiar with centering and different types of, types of centering. So centering, we're coming into ourselves, we're finding our center and we're in this case, we're social centering as well because we are finding the center with other people. So I wanna invite this other idea of centering as when we feel ourselves getting uncomfortable and grippy, maybe we can start to unclasp the hand so that the centering is in relaxing, right? So let's all just take our hands and just squeeze, squeeze as tight as you can, just like you're making the fist, you're holding on and maybe add the body into that so that you're really getting this mm, grip on things. Holding, holding, holding. Let's hold a little tighter for 10, nine, eight, seven, as tight as you can get, six, everywhere in your body, five, four, three, two, one, and wah, let it softly open up. Ah, let the breath get bigger. Let yourself come into your body as if you're coming into your body for the first time and you're just feeling. What is this thing I am in? What does it feel like to be here today, right in this moment? Now that it kind of ah, unleashed some of that tension. And a lot of times with tension, we're holding tension that we don't even know we're holding until we start to let it go. So I wanna invite this, yeah, this time and this movement, oh, Lisa, look at you go, to be a, a time to let go of whatever gripping, whatever grasping is going on. And we're gonna invite in to start out just some micro movement. Let's just start with turning your head from side to side. So, or you can go big. If you're feeling the moves, Lisa, I want you to go all the way. Don't, you don't need to rein it in, right? You can always move more. But let's just take it from side to side, looking around. And as you're looking around, notice what you're seeing. Like, oh, I can see a David Bowie puzzle. I can see paintings on the wall. I can see the sun coming in that window. I can see into my kitchen. Over on this side, I can see a kitten. If I look around behind me, there's another one. I can see outside, I can see the cars, I can see the daylight. Ha, ah, I can see the furniture in my house. I can see all the cords of all the various things. And then let go of what you're seeing. And as you're looking from side to side, tune into what it feels like in your head, in your neck, in your jaw. Ha, ah, see if you can let go of any tension in the jaw so that you're just taking in the room in the feeling state of being in your body, unclenching and just seeing what you see. And if it's possible, try not to get amped up by it. So seeing your space with equanimity, that means seeing the stuff around you without the need to change it or fix it. And letting it come into your body so that as we look around, we go, okay, this is, this is the world, but here I am inside and I'm actually safe. So when we look around, this tells our primitive brain right there, our cerebellum, it's okay, we're safe. It's safe, I can calm down and relax. I can let go. So let's take that and let's start with some up and down movement. So looking up and then looking down and feeling into your body as you look up. Oh, what do you notice? And as you look down, what do you notice? So just inviting in, seeing as high as feels comfortable, 
and as low as feels comfortable. And if you were standing, you could really be, you know, investigating what's up there and then hmm, what's down there. Not that we're going for any kind of big workout or massive stretch. We're just checking out what's below and what's above. And feeling into our body, what does it feel like when you start to reach toward the floor or go down? And what does it feel like when you start to reach up? Ah, so we did our side sideness. How is it with the up and downness? Maybe you want to reach in both directions at the same time. So how is that? Trying one, trying the other. Feeling into the ver verticality, the up downness of being seeing what's high, seeing what's low, right? In, in EYP, there's like, what is it? Transcendence. And then there's also surrender. Are there ways that we can reach up to the heavens and find inspiration? And then when we go down to earth, can we let go of things? Can we soften and melt? Can we ground ourselves? So just finding these ideas of up and downness, and maybe it's totally different for you. It might be, oh, when I reach up, I've got this crick in my neck, it just feels uncomfortable. So make it smaller, really work in what feels okay. As we find this relationship with the up and the down, we're finding a relationship with the vertical. We first started with a relationship with the horizontal, the side to side, to come into safety. And now we're coming into the vertical, the I am, here I am. If I do this gesture, let's just try this gesture, just gesturing to myself. What is this? This is the vertical. This is me. If my hand is going up and down my body, I'm talking about me. If I'm opening out, I'm talking about us. Here we are. I'm presenting to you. Ah, which feels better right now? Does it feel good to take in, to share out, or to come into myself and to find my ground where I am just in me? Yeah, or maybe, oh, here, look, I've got all this great stuff. I'd love to share it with you. Or thank you very much for sharing all your great stuff with me. So just this idea of these different planes, this sort of horizontal plane here, not sort of, this is the vertical dimension. If I open it out, then I'm in the vertical plane. So I can stretch out into the vertical plane and maybe take up some more space. I'm going to get bigger. And then we did our forward and backward as we were we can do forward and backward coming toward the camera and moving away from it feeling what that feels like even if i'm just seated and i just lean in a little bit and lean back and even if you don't have your camera on you can feel what that's like you're coming closer to me and then you're backing away do i need to take a step back am i ready to enter fully into this how, where am I? So this is all, what we're doing is just orienting our body in space. How does it feel when I move forward? How does it feel when I move back? How does it feel when I, I clean off the big table or I share something, I offer something out or I gather it in, I bring it into myself. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Set. Thank you for that stuff. Thank you for that care. Thank you for that loving kindness. Here, have some of my wondrous things. Here, I would love to share this great stuff with you. Ah, here, open-handed. Or I could be closed fists. I can clench it in. And sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need to close in and clench, hold something to us so tight. What is that like? Just tuning into our own bodies in this way. So we have our up and downness, our forward backwardness, our side sideness. Then we have these diagonals, right? I can reach into this right forward high, left forward high. I can reach to the low diagonal. I can take things back into these diagonals. I can spiral. I can spiral down. I can spiral up. What does that feel like? Is there more possibility when I add the spiral? I could just spiral my hands or I could spiral my arms, or I can spiral my spine, or I can like even spiral with my, arm, my leg. And if I break all the rules of how I'm supposed to move and I just offer myself, move what, in whatever way feels good, and I listen into my own body, hmm, what does it say? Maybe it says, oh, just stop for a minute. 
ah, just calm down, come into stillness. Or maybe it says, no, you got to shake all this stuff out. You got to go, you got to go. Like, what is the thing? Yeah, and, and all of these flavors, we can taste them. We can try them on. What does it feel like when I shake it out? Let things go. No tension in my mouth, my tongue. So that shaking out, especially if we're experiencing a lot of anguish or pain or, or discomfort, shaking things out can be a great way to, it's like you're stirring up the pot. Ah, filtering, essentially filtering out some of the excess tension. Ah, so we just played with a whole bunch of possibilities of movement. And all of these things we all already know. It's not like I'm going, oh, here's this new thing. I've invented the wheel. All of this stuff is stuff that on many, many levels we know. We're reading each other all the time in this physical level. We're expressing on this physical level, but often we haven't talked about it or taken that moment to feel into that connection so that we're operating as this whole body-mind experience, this dynamic process, biomorphic movement through life. Ha, ah, so how is that landing in you right now? How are you feeling now? Where are you on the, on the spectrum? I see some bouncing, I see some opening. I see some more internal stuff. I see a lot of cameras off, that's okay. Hmm, let's come in and take a hand on, it could be, we could go, like with your eyes, if you've been on Zoom all day, let's go for hands over your eyes. If you haven't been on Zoom very much, maybe a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly or a hand on your chest and a hand on your belly. And let's just tune in. Feeling into the rise and fall of our breath. And we can move with this, right? We can rock, we can soften, or we can stay in stillness. Whatever feels like it's gonna nurture and nourish us the most. So one of the, some of the things that I spend a lot of time and have spent a lot of time thinking about is how can we find support within our own body? Ah, just breathing, maybe making some sound, small movements so that we can come into sensation, into it's okay to be me. It's okay to be me right here, right now. I'm actually getting really warm being me right here, right now, shaking around in this sunny day in New York. So we've experienced a lot of possibilities and I wanna give us time to move with music. And this music is music of my friend, Jeff Gersh called Ambient Fields. Most of this is, I think it's all actually guitars. It sounds like it's with effects, but it has no effect on it. It is just, uh, Quinton likes it. It is good stuff. Let me find my... I've got like all of these random weird playlists. Here we go. Let's go with this. Let's go with that. Take, it'll take a minute for you to hear it. And if it's too loud or too quiet, feel free to unmute or flag me down and let me know. So you should start to hear it coming in. So the invitation is to allow the music to speak to your body or to listen in so that we've played with these different possibilities of movement. Now you can listen to what the desire is in your body. What would feel good? What would be delicious? What would be nourishing and nurturing? And you could also just look into the room, see how other people are moving or see how I'm moving. I think I'm actually gonna stand for this. Yeah, this could be also laying down. You could lay down on the floor and just roll around, but inviting in the spaciousness of the music, the shape and the flow. into the open space of, of your awareness without thinking you know what's gonna happen. If it's possible to enter in like a child into new space, never been there before, never seen this before. Oh, so you're not planning ahead. It's very, human beings like to 
know exactly where they're going, what they're going to say, how they're going to move next. See if you can invite your nervous system online to move in whatever way feels good. And like, try not to second guess it. Or if like, if you think you're going to go one way, let it go somewhere else. If you've made a plan to go over there, go there instead. There's nothing to prove. You're just tuning into, it's like you're letting the internal filter sort of clear your systems a little bit. What do they need? Dancing with the space around you as if it's alive and the space in inside of you is alive. So you can be in this relationship, the, the space supporting you, your body supporting you, your breath. revealed yet ha ah, some or something that's been kind of closed for a while or maybe something brand new that's just evolving just bringing in the awareness dancing with the space unclenching or clenching if that feels good go for the clench too we can, we can know unclenching when we know clenching. things in your own body that you feel like you can't deal with, offer them to the air, offer them to the ground. If you feel like there's something that's too much for you, offer it to the fire, offer it to the water, offer it to the space. Ah, I can't hold this. I'm just going to let it go out into the space. It's too much for me. Here, let me put it, let me light the candle. This is so delicious. I'm just super into it. Maybe that's happening too. And it tends to be that things just shift and change. Nothing locks in and stays there forever. I just, I'm seeing a whole large group of people running by my window in red colors. <laughs> it's very interesting. be here. We're letting the stuff that's in the body, the stuff that's out of the body, letting the whole experience happen. We don't need to say that's not happening. This isn't there. We're just letting it all be here and moving with it. Allowing the exact moment to express with your awareness.
into your own body. some idea like all we're doing all the time is connecting to things so allow that connection to become very interesting connecting to the sound to cast your own spell, right? The spell of, ah, oh, this is what I need to nourish me. This is what I need to be alive in my body. This is what I need to feel connected. Hey, Leslie, welcome. We're in our dance of, I don't know, cosmic primordial connection just moving in whatever way feels alive in us right now. Yeah. Any way that feels good. The total permission ah, to tune into sensation. Hmm. Awareness, dancing with the space, dancing with the music, connecting to the people. Even if it's just in the field, right? Even if we're just connecting in our imagination. people, blue people, orange people, pink people. our fiery potential, our breath potential, our earthy potential to all integrate, to become coherent as we move. Mm. 
Yeah, like we're casting spells on the space around us. Ah, integrating with the aliveness of being. Hmm. short half hour is such a tiny amount of time. <laughs> I'm going to slowly fade out the music and give us a few minutes to come together. And if you need to blink out, feel free to blink out at any time. Um, yeah, nice to see you all. Nice to have you popping up on screen when you do. Lovely. I can put my glasses on and look. I'm just going to reshare all of this stuff. So in 15 minutes, on a different link, I'm doing a free dances for peace, but it's gonna to be totally different than this because it won't be so internal. It'll be more like dancey. <laughs> what does that even mean? This is very dancey for me, but it'll be more like with regular music that has lyrics and stuff like that. So yeah, the final thing under my website is a link to a Zoom and it's gonna be Fridays. I'm just gonna do a somatic dance party for peace for Fridays. Uh, it's the, the Zoom link. And yeah, you felt the witchcraft. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Big part of it. But it's so interesting because I was just taking a class. Um, I was, I've been doing a whole breathwork course with Tim Vanderfleet, who's a Wim Hof breath instructor. And we actually did a whole session with his shaman. And I was thinking just how, you know, when we're when we're present with the earth, when we're present with the air, when we're present with our bodies, it's like to somebody on the outside, it may appear very magical and weird, but it's, that's, what, that's what witchcraft is. <laughs> it's just being present with our own bodies or shamanism or anything, right? It's being in, ha, ah, here's my breath. Here's my heart with your hearts. We are beating our hearts together. Our hearts are beating together. We're breathing together, we're moving together. So nice to be with you. Um, I'm going to stop talking. And if you would like to unmute, please feel free to unmute and say anything you want to share with group. I will, I will unmute on that. I'll just say something that I've just written in the chat because I think it, it's what you help release um, so beautifully, Laura. Um, yeah, I, I meditate with the London Buddhist um, society every 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 day the center sorry every day and we we did a meditation where he just basically guided us to connect with the, the earth in our body you know the solidity that which you know even putting food in our mouth it's solid then the air and then the elements and you really get a, a feel that actually i am nature that is my connection with nature and and you feel if you want to connect with the lightness in your body the air the breath all of that and I felt actually yeah I am more than me it really helped me lift beyond just being me and I found it really powerful and I find that really powerful by by your guidance as well I felt able to move and be fluid so thank you oh you're so welcome and I, I yeah it's like it's funny because you talked about eating with like that even eating is the earth element I try I'm a very air person like I'm very oh yeah I'm also very watery, was, I'm very fiery too. I'm, I'm fairly balanced, but my earth is my least. And I, when I'm eating, I have to think, eat with earth. I have to stop doing all other things and slow down and try and really chew so that I can come into my digestive process, which is you know very earthy and watery together in a healthy way. So I, I really love the, the use, the, the work with the elements as just a model for being. Exactly. Got to eat, got to chew that strawberry, right, Quentin? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to share anything? I want to share that I felt, um, I, I was, I really enjoyed this flow of movement. And I, I noticed that it, I didn't, I was in my body and I wasn't really thinking and this was really and really amazing. I really enjoyed it and I really appreciate how you were guiding us through this journey together and how you created the space. Thank you. Thank you so much. Vielen Dank. 
That was great. <laughs> yeah, I was only here for a short while, but I want to thank you because I had a, a spinal compression fracture. It was about six months ago, but I'm still stiff. And I tried to do a Tai Chi class today and I couldn't do it because anything set isn't working for me anymore. But your movements, if I just let myself move the way I can and what feels good. So I think that's much more healing. So thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I, I am so with you on that. Anything set is not working for me anymore. <laughs> so you're really gonna dive into the water and see where it takes you. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad you could move. I like the, the whole structure of the movement. You introduce dimension and then we move. At the, in the first part, I couldn't turn on camera because I'm moving around. But then when I look at you on the camera, I, I thought, oh, maybe I can move like you. Even when I'm doing something else, I just move. But without thinking about that's a task or a chore to do, this is something I can move with that. Like fine pain or move something or spatula. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. I actually have some videos of me dancing while cooking and I'm dancing and I'm throwing this stuff in like we can always dance even however we dance even if it's very small right we can be in it yeah inviting in that relationship with movement I mean we are movement so yeah and also something came to me that um, a client of mine was talking to me about oh I need to have a baby soon because I'm 38 but then we become a, a machine to give a birth to the baby. But then when I move, I said, I need to tell her we are, we are kind of, we have the feminine side. We are celebrating, not just having a baby. Like we are kind of like, we have this very beautiful way of being woman. It's not just as a function being a woman, but then also appreciating the beauty. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. That's wonderful. Yeah. Anybody else? Well, awesome. Feel free to tell all your friends, share the link or get them to sign up. Um, I, I think every time I teach, it's, it's always a little different, but there are certain things that I go back to a lot, which are the dimensions and the space and the elements. So um, yeah. I never, I sometimes have a plan, but I also just see who's showing up and how you're moving and what I should say. And that's how it sort of comes out. Um, all right, well, loving kindness to you all and may your day be wonderful. Feel free to join me in my next room if you are interested in dancing, dancing to music a total variety of music. So, and my mom will be there <laughs> so it's all thing. ages. It's totally different. Like, I'm not gonna guide. I'm just gonna play a bunch of different music and everybody dances. So that's wow. it. And it's free. So feel free to come. I'll be doing it for the next, I don't know how long, at least this month and probably next month too. Is it on your website? Yeah. Or? It's not on my website. It's my Zoom, which is, I'll just, I'll just pull the Zoom out for you. It's the okay. bottom one under. Okay. Okay. You got it. It's right there. Yeah. So feel free. I mean, it'll take, I'm not going to click into it for another 10 minutes or five minutes, but okay. feel free to click in. And if you want to dance to music. Yeah. Go ahead, Lisa. Um, I had to look at your Patreon because I was thinking, like, can I um, subscribe to you and stuff? Re realistically, to get make the most uh, out of you when I'm at work, definitely not. But in the summer, I could. Would that be okay if I just sort of signed Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Sure. Right. So, yeah. And one of them, one of them is where I would be able to to subscribe and get just come to all of your classes that's right it's, i'm right reading it that way yes yes you're reading it right yeah you'll everything yeah. that i have that's on zoom you're invited to yeah i'll do that one actually and can i just finally ask if i do that one which is the one i was wanting to do maybe in july or and august is it in is it uk time friendly do you think it is uk time friendly because most of my classes are in the morning Oh, so I right. teach, and there are some that are in the afternoon. And also, like, if I had enough UK people, I could set up specific times, right? Like, right. my schedule right now is very fluid. Like, I just want my business to be that I'm only teaching and choreographing and making dance and stuff like right. that, making art. So, I think, yeah. I think I'll but, do the Patreon in, in July and August then, Laura. I'd love to do more with you and, and just experience all the different offerings you've got. So that would be great, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. Let me just ask one favor. If you're going to do it for July, sign up at the end of June. Because if you sign up in the beginning of July, it doesn't bill you until, <laughs> until the next month. And that's what's yeah. happened to me. I just started my thing. So sign up the month before okay. if you can. Yeah. And it'll I'll, just, it won't bill you for June. It'll just bill I'll you for July. I'll mention it nearer to the time, obviously. But yeah, that's that's no problem. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then also like on my website, if you want to take individual classes, you can do that. Like you can take, you know, get a five class card or a 10 class card. But the best deal is actually the Patreon thing. Yeah, so. yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right. Lovely people. Maybe see you in a minute or maybe not. You can move however you want to. Oh, Monique, you've unmuted. Are you going to say anything? Yeah. Oh, I'm so very tired, but it was very pleasurable to attend. This was my first time here, so. Excellent. Welcome. Come again. It's so nice okay. to dance and move with you all. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you.